guests. They are also animal lovers. They are starring in the new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries original film, Project Christmas Wish. Welcome back, Amanda Schull and Travis Van Winkle. Hi, guys. What's up, guys? Hi. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being Thanks. here, and thanks for bring, bringing your furry friends along for the interview. Eh. Yes! Karen, Karen, Karen will take any opportunity she can get to make new friends. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be on camera. Her, look at her. <laughs> and how about Rupert and his Christmas sweater? No, Rupert's all dressed up for the occasion. This is his television debut. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah. Well, we are going to talk about those adorable little cuties in just a second. But before that, we are going to talk all about your new movie. We're really excited about it. So, Amanda, you play Lucy. Tell us about her work overseeing Project Christmas Wish. Of course. Lucy has the Christmas spirit in her heart 365 days a year. But Lucy's <laughs> real time to shine is the holiday season when she oversees and founded a Project Christmas Wish, where she grants the Christmas wishes of the people in her beloved town. And she goes on radio every year to discuss the wish of the season which is one Project Christmas wish that she grants to the utmost degree, which is where Travis's character, Lucas, comes into play. She says, mm. so, like, slowly <laughs> and carefully, laying out the groundwork there. But by the way, like, if that was somebody, obviously your character in real life, like, doing something like that all year long, granting wow. wishes like that, what a beautiful thing. What a great That's character true. for you to play. Now, um, speaking of great characters, let's move over to you, Travis. You played Lucas. Now, Lucas is a single dad, but here's the deal about Lucas. He's having a hard time getting into the Christmas spirit for good reason. Tell us why. Uh, Lucas is a bit of a Grinch. He, uh, he's going to... <laughs> Uh, he's going through a little bit of grief. He lost his wife a couple of years ago, and uh, the holidays was something really special for them. And so it's, it's taken him some time to really recover. And he's got this cute little daughter, Avery Peters, who's she's such a sweetheart. Um, she she uh, revives him and, and really sets me up to have to face some stuff. And luckily, I get to meet this wonderful, charming human being, and, and she uh, she lifts my holiday spirits again. Oh, look at that. We're looking at a picture of the film. That's, That's so what it's sweet. all about. It really is. It. Well, we have a clip of your characters meeting for the first time. And like you just said, they don't exactly have equal amounts of Christmas spirit. Uh. <laughs> Take a look. Can I help you with something? Uh, no, thank you. Actually, yes. Um, what's up with all the horses? Oh, it's the Elmhurst Christmas horse. It's a town tradition. And why is it a horse? Because it's Elmhurst's mascot. Why is that? Because it is. So basically because there's no actual reason. Theoretically, Elmhurst's mascot can be any animal? No. Yes, yes. No, it couldn't. But it could. Not really. You see where I'm going with this? No, I don't. It's a horse. It's a Christmas horse. OK. It couldn't be any other animal. It's a Christmas horse. So may I interest you in purchasing one of these Christmas horses for what I can only assume is your beloved ornament collection with which you so wholeheartedly celebrate the holidays? Hmm. No, thank you, Mrs. Claus. I'm good. I'm a fun elf. Oh. <laughs> and so it begins. Right. By the way, <laughs> what a great scene. That banter between the two of you is so good. Agreed. 100% agreed. It was Thank great. Thank you. Thank you. So much fun. I was going to say, that <laughs> must have been a lot of fun to play off of one another. The really quick, actually, witty conversation. It looks, like they, it looks like they chose a couple of our little improvs. I haven't oh, seen yeah. any of that yet. Yeah. Yeah, they let us run with it, which is nice. It's always fun to just be able to play on set. You know, you really stick to the script, but you also get to add some of your own stuff in the moment. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah the two of you are so good together. And as we just saw, Travis, you were holding up the Christmas horse, which you were trying to change into another animal. <laughs> However, it's not going to happen. And I know that you spent some time on set with a real Christmas horse. Isn't that right, Amanda? So beautiful. This beautiful horse we got to... Oh, there there he is. Wow. There's that. Cutie. Karen didn't quite find her light, um, yeah. but yes. Um, <laughs> she never does. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Christmas horse um, that filmed with us the last couple of days. And oh my gosh, we all were just doting on this horse. I was massaging this horse. Hopefully the horse enjoyed our attention and affection. He was just gorgeous. And 
Um, obviously, Karen got to meet the Christmas horse, and um, we had a photo shoot. But that I think that actually happened to be Travis's big day. Oh, the big day. Yeah. Huh, the big day <laughs> that we're speaking of, everybody. Another <laughs> highlight from filming, from what I understand. The big was day. Celebrating the big day, Travis's birthday on Aww. set. I know the cast and crew went all out with your cake, uh, but we saw your dog Karen in that photo back there. But really, in a way, it was, I mean, it was kind of yeah. Karen's cake. It was definitely Karen's cake. And, you know, I, I would say most people probably don't want to be working on their birthday, but as actors, or I'll just speak for myself, I love being on set on my birthday. And, the, you know, the cast and the crew made this incredible experience for me. And uh, I'm so glad they focused it on Karen because everybody loves her. Karen on set. That. No, is, is, a, is that Karen in a boat? It's, it's Karen in a canoe. Karen Amazing. in a canoe. I gotta bring my dog on my next movie do you, shoot. Do you canoe? Does, does that have some sort um, of meaning? Um, I mean, we went canoeing. I don't think I'm an <laughs> avid canoeer. Yeah. Um, You're not like internationally I'm, known. I don't want to limit myself because I, I, mean, I could get into canoeing. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe just because the alliteration is good. Karen in a canoe. It works. <laughs> <laughs> and the photo is beautiful. That's right. Well, this, this will be Karen's first Christmas. I know she's a baby. And this is going to be Rupert's 18th Christmas, by oh, the way. Wow. Um, <laughs> And, and we also have to congratulate you, Amanda, on, on somebody else's first Christmas as well. It's a very special Christmas for you, isn't it? Thank you. Yes, um, I'm a new mom. So, so it's sweet. my son's first Christmas this year, Patterson. My little boy is nine and a half months old, and we will be celebrating this year with him, um, which I am really looking forward to. He's already quite taken by Christmas direct, uh, decorations and Christmas trees. And we were over at my brother's house yesterday and they have these large Santas with that play music and he's already getting into the holiday spirit. So it'll be really fun. That is what it's all about. I mean, I'm just thinking back, my kid's a little older. Alexandra's been, you know, I know six, it's just so a few beautiful. years ago, but that's so beautiful. That first time, that first Christmas is what it's all about. Good for you guys. I mean, and Rupert at 18th, his 18th Christmas. Wow. I want to thank you both for bringing uh, Karen and, and Rupert on. And Rupert's <laughs> doing very, very well for his first time on television. I can't believe yeah, how comfortable he's not nervous he is. at all. Yeah, he's doing great. Well, he's playing it cool. Karen's good. done a yeah, great job as well. Super poised. Karen's a natural Karen, too. Yeah. You guys, they've got good teachers. Uh, guess what, guys? We've got <laughs> we've got some early Christmas gifts for each of you. So go ahead and open them now, because I think you've got them beside you, don't you? You've been very good we not do. to peek. We sent I you know, a gift. There you go. Let's see what's in them. Thank you. If you open them together, it'll be a nice little surprise. Beautiful. Mini canoe. <laughs> <laughs> we we fit a canoe into the the back. It's impressive. Look at that. It's a little um a little wolf frame that I can put a little photo of. Oh, Isn't that cute, you guys? There you go, guys. Oh, that's what? actually Karen. Yeah, we got Karen in there. <laughs> I was I like, what happened? Pictures yeah. of the dogs and put them in there for you. Well, Merry Christmas, I mean, guys. That was sweet. All four. Oh, of I you. have something else. I have some. Don't you limit my Christmas. Package opening. Oh, that's yeah. right. I forgot. Right. <laughs> I think Wait. this might be for my other little guy. <gasps> oh, it's a little, it's an ornament that I can put Patterson. That's right. Yeah. Baby's first Christmas. Isn't that sweet? You can't forget about Patterson. Aww. I'll put his little face. Well, thank you so much for being here, you guys. And please have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we can't wait till we see you back here in our home very soon. Happy holidays. Thank Happy you for holidays. having us. Thank yep, you, guys. Thank you. you all, be sure to watch Amanda and Travis in Project Christmas Wish this Sunday, December 20th at 10 p.m. 9 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Plus, keep up with all of our amazing movie premieres with our Hallmark Movie Checklist app. You can add movies to your watch list. You can view trailers and so much more. And guess what, Cameron, how much does it cost? It's actually free 99. Yeah, it's free 99. And where is it available? Uh, iOS and Android devices, both. Ding, 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 it's ding. It's a good deal, everybody. You got to check it out. <laughs>